crappie. Yep, another crappie. Oh, he's a keeper. Look at that. Another one. Got him. Right. Thick as a crappie. Yep, another crappie. Another solid one. Got something. Maybe a bass. Yep. What is it? Is that a bass or a speck? Oh, that's a speck. Jumped out the water like a bass. Nice. I'm on for winging. Too fresh. Mikey Milk, baby. What's going on, guys? And welcome to another episode of Too Fresh Fishing. And today I am stepping out of the box and I'm going to do something new. I just went out today and caught a couple of crappie and decided to do a catch, clean and cook for you guys, uh, which is my first time ever doing and I just wanted to do it because I heard that this is something that people like to see. So I'm not the, the chef guy, but I'm going to definitely make a good attempt at trying to do this. So bear with me. But All right guys, so here are the crappie that I just caught today and they are still alive I'm going to be cleaning them and then I'm gonna drop a fillet knife to them so that we can cut them out without having to gut them or scale them and then we're gonna get it cracking all right guys so here's our first specimen and what I'm going to do, uh, my terminology isn't going to be perfect, so I'm going to start right here and cut down the top of my fish and work my way down to the tail. Running along the bone line. Just going to sort of trim as I'm cutting and once I get to my tail just gonna push down on the bone line and run the knife along that sorry buddy back along the bone line on the other side what I'm trying to make sure I don't do is hit into the stomach sac area because I don't want to get any of the insides from, from the fish all right so this is my first piece and I'm going to check for worms, see if I see any worms or anything in here. And then I'm going to switch it over to the other side and instead of starting at the top part, I'm going to start like in the middle. And then I'm going to work my way towards the front, still trying to stay on that, the bone line so I can get as much meat in the cut as possible once I feel like I'm past that sack I'm gonna go all the way through with my knife kind of push down up against the bone line and bring it right out and then I'm doing the same thing I'm gonna cut along the bone line on the other side come right towards the top Flip my fish over and then basically just fill up under the bottom and cut around the bone. And 
and this is all bone, all bone. And on the other side, I have all bone. So this is all of the fish that I'm actually going to use. And this is trash or not going to use. And here are my top portions of my filet. So let me get this in the sink. Now, what we're going to do to complete the filet is we're going to start at whichever end gives you the more skin. So I'm gonna take this part because this is filled with meat. I'm going to use my nails just to hold it down while I take my knife and start filleting out. The meat. I am pressing at a 45, I think about a 45 degree angle just to allow me to cut downward. And then that's one. And again, at the bottom I have another. So I'm just going to tilt, slant, cut, and cut along the skin. have it so it's one it's two and now let's go to our next fish all right guys so on fish number two and just like the last time we're gonna start the process the same way find that bone line and cut as close along it as possible I know I'm not making perfect cuts but once I get down past the sack I'm gonna go through run along that and you can see here where I am getting almost all of the meat that's that I'm, I possibly can if by chance you happen to go under the bones, just edge your way out over them, back over them, and then just continue cutting. After your fillets are cut out, you can always go in and do a little, do whatever cleanup you need to do when it comes to the bone wise. Gonna flip it upside down and work my way through a little bit and I can feel where the meat stops. So I'm gonna cut here, or you can come from here and cut along your bone line. You have to figure out for yourself which one is gonna be best for your cutting style. All right, that's two. So for one, now I'm gonna start back here. Working along that bone line, coming up, and you can feel it. I can see where I went under it here. So I'm gonna cut back over, and you can see that I did run across it. I have one bone right here that I can clean up later. And I'm gonna go back and cut down that back area. Once I get in here, going straight through, a little bit of pressure just to rub along the bone line. Fillet the rest of it out. All right, so same thing. I'm gonna come here. Cutting it out. All right, it's two. So we're gonna do the same thing we did the last time, down, and I'll go ahead and go through it this time. Good 
cut. Grab this next one. Angle. Oops. Hold down. left over all right let me get this washed off and put in with the rest of the water and I'll be back all right guys and lastly we have fish number three let me go ahead and run through this sure that we don't hit that sack so we don't get any of the guts in All right, that's one flip it over and repeat on the second side making sure you run down alongside the bones straight through a little pressure down just to get it from on the tail I'm gonna come here again this washed off and I'll be right guys all right guys so here's what we ended up with mm. washed them off and got any of the excess junk that was on them made sure we didn't have any bones in it and now what I'm going to do is put them in a container and put some lemon on them before we prep them just to get rid of a little bit of that fishy taste from it. So, let's get them in here. Let's give them some old lemon. And we're not trying to Keeping it here long enough to start cooking it with the lemon, but we do want to get some of that pungent, fishy taste out of it. See that? soak for a few minutes and then I'll be back with you guys all right guys so we have marinated 
in lemon long enough. So we're gonna dump these buddies into our bowl. And what I'm going to utilize is complete season by Badia and the old bay season which makes everything. So I'm gonna start off with the old bay. We don't want to over season it. So I'm not gonna drown it with seasoning. to the oven. So I'm thinking we're gonna cook for about 30 to 45 minutes on 375. We'll test it out just to see how it comes out and how long it actually takes to cook. And as soon as we're done, I'll be back with you guys. Cool. All right guys, while the food is cooking, I figured I'd go ahead and let you guys know what I'm utilizing when I'm out crappie fishing. So currently I'm just running a 6.6 Matsuo rod, a light tackle rod paired with a Shimano Sienna 1000 FD reel. And I'm using a Cast King six pound test line braid on here and jig wise to show you the container I'm using the Johnson Beetle spin but I'm taking off their jig I'm using one of the 1 8 ounce Eagle Claw jigs uh, bright color either orange chartreuse pink right now I have the chartreuse with the white eyes and I'm pairing that with a Two fresh crappie killer two and the number two has a little bud tail on it and this is monkey milk uh, monkey milk has been slaying them over the past couple of weeks so yeah this is what I'm using and I've caught a lot of crappie but I've caught a ton of bass using this setup and I'm pressing myself to get into using light tackle I'm so used to using uh, seven, three, seven, four, seven rods, uh, bait casters, but this is a little different. It actually makes me have to learn how to fight better for the fish that I'm catching. So I'm going to be posting a video up on YouTube with me fishing for a little bit, and you'll see a couple of the catches that I made today for the ones that I just cooked later on. So let's get back to the food, guys. All right, guys, I think we may be done. It's looking pretty good right here. Let me check it out. Alright, here goes nothing. Yeah, buddy. So we are officially done. real good so I have an addition to add this too this is actually not the full meal so gotta go get one of the youngins from school and I will be back as soon as I return guys 
All right, guys, so I am back. I had to go and pick my jits up, so about to put this plate together. One heck of a plate, huh? I just have to do it like this in order to get, get it how I want to get it. So we have some baked crappie. And then we have the shrimp. All from the crusty crab. Crafty crab, that is. Can't forget the potatoes. And the old corn. Give us a little bit of this. Let me give you a close up of how the meal is looking. It's not perfect, but it'll definitely do for me. All right, guys, thank you for stopping by and checking us out for the catch, clean, and cook. And again, this is my first one, so don't be too rough on me. Let me know what you think. Give me some comments or suggestions for the next time. And uh, if it is good enough, I'll continue doing this, guys big on fish as far as eating. I do practice CPR. Crappie is an exception or about the only exception that I make that in snakehead. And I think that might be the next thing that I want to do is do a catch, cook, and clean on snakehead. So give me some feedback guys and I will definitely talk to you guys later and have a good day. Remember, get somebody to take them out and, and let them enjoy a too fresh moment because life is too fresh to not go fishing. Have a good one.